die a little bit inside every month? Do you feel like there is a war going on inside of your uterus and the only thing that can help it is 13 Excedrin caplets and a heating pad, the temperature of hell? If so, you probably need to see a doctor about possibly having endometriosis. But if your cramps rate just above needing a uterine scan and just below crying yourself to sleep every night, this is the video for you. All right, first things first, get a calendar. This isn't a calendar, this is an iPhone, but you are welcome to get one of those old fashioned books and record it that way. The best way that I have found recently though is using an app. The app that I use is called Glow. Glow is a really nosy app. It records your period, it records when you're ovulating. It tells you how extreme your cramps are gonna be based on prior information that you've given it. So after you've been using it for a while, it's kinda like it knows you, it like knows your body what's gonna happen. So it's really cool and I suggest getting that because then you can be prepared for when your period comes. Number two, plan ahead. If you know your period is coming next week, start drinking water and eating healthy now. Nothing's worse than getting to your period and you feel bloated and you feel fat just because you didn't eat well and you didn't keep your exercise regimen going. Then when you're on your period, you could just be zen, chill out, you don't have to worry about anything and you could just feel good. Feeling good is really half the battle when you don't feel good, you're more likely to have cramps or feel uncomfortable and all those awful things that come with that time of the month. Number three, hydrate more and eat less. Cramps are relieved by oxygen getting to the muscle to relieve the cramp. So although it may feel like drinking a lot of water is gonna make you feel like you're in your first trimester, it really isn't. I drink tons of coconut water. So coconut water is just very hydrating, a little bit more hydrating than regular water and it tastes better, so I drink a lot of coconut water. When you eat a lot of food, it actually puts a lot of pressure on your abdomen, which makes your cramps even worse. So what you wanna do is continue to hydrate your body with water and don't eat big double cheeseburgers all day like you may feel like you should because you're on your period and you're a monster. <sighs> Number four, use supplements. Now this isn't for everybody, but I have found that using supplements over time has not only lessened my cramps, it has also lessened my need for over-the-counter medication. Keep in mind, most natural remedies take a little bit longer to work, so you wanna be taking your natural remedies for about 90 days before you really see a change. So in the meantime, continue taking your poison, your Advil, your Excedrin, um, while you're taking your natural remedies so that you can give the natural remedies time to work through your system. Then after a while, you can just cut it off completely and you'll really see a change. You'll see it start to work. Okay, so these next supplements I'm gonna show you are things that I recommend you putting into your everyday regimen, okay? Then we're gonna get to the ones that you just take during that time of the month. The first one is probiotics. Now, probiotics are great for your digestion. They help to keep you regular. It's actually, you're putting friendly bacteria into your body. It helps to balance your pH and so you have a natural flow in your system. The two probiotics that I have used before and still use are these, it's Green Vibrance by Vibrant Health. And this one has a lot of extra stuff. It's not just probiotics, it also has like a lot of uh, daily vitamins like your green, leafy greens are in here. There's like kale and spinach and spirulina and awesome stuff, right? So you're getting your green daily intake and probiotics in this one. So this is the one that I most recently started taking and I really like it. And there's also, these, there's a lot of different brands that make these little probiotic beads. It's basically one little tiny little bead that you take every day. I always recommend these to my friends that can't really take pills. Really easy, if you can remember to take them, it will do wonders for when you're on your cycle because you will just already be regular, okay? A daily vitamin. Daily vitamins are wonderful for when you take them every day. It supports skin, hair, nails, um, but it has magnesium in it. And I was just talking to a friend about a big reason why a lot of people have muscle cramps is because they have a magnesium deficiency. So if you're taking a daily vitamin, you will already have that in there and it'll over time help to lessen your cramps and make you more healthy. Um, magnesium can also be found in kale, so eat your kale. Monthly supplements, you're gonna start taking these one week before you start your cycle. Sometimes two, depending on the instructions, but one to two weeks before your cycle starts, you wanna start adding these monthly supplements into your life. There are a lot of supplements that are just towards that time of the month. You can find them at Whole Foods, your health store, but I'm gonna cover the ones that I've actually used and they worked for me. Number one is Cramp Bark by Aunt Flo. This has vitamin B6, it has magnesium, zinc, 
It also has a tension relief blend, which has ashwagandha, which is a Indian herb that calms you. And it also has a cramp bark blend, which I'll go over later. There's separate things outside of this that you can take, um, which are already in this. So if you can find a supplement that has all of that stuff together that helps to relieve your cramps, that would be good. Cramp bark is one of them. All right, so the next supplement that I'm gonna bring up that you can do while you're on your cycle is um, a little bit more expensive than the cramp relief. This is by a company called Una from Menstrual Cramps, and it's a two-part process. You're gonna start with part one, um, and this is for PMS symptoms. All the symptoms that you get before your period starts, like the irritability, the mood swings. It basically helps to regulate your cycle. And then part two comes in when your period actually starts. This is gonna help with the pain, help to relieve those muscle aches, and help to relieve the bloating. If you're gonna get one or the other, because they're a little bit more pricey than most things, I would say get this one, because this is gonna help you um, more regularly going up to your period. This is gonna regulate your PMS symptoms and regulate your period, whereas this one is more for your pain and the cramps, and you can pretty much do anything like, once your period's here, it's here. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. But this will kind of help you as you get ready for it. The last three things that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you all at once because, like I said, these ingredients can be found in those other cramp supplements that I showed you together. This is cramp bark, and this is the first natural remedy that I started using, um, and it works so well. I honestly have heard people say that this is the only thing that they found that worked for them in um, regulating their period. And I actually haven't really figured out what it is yet. If it's like a tree or some type of plant that they grow in the forest, I don't know, but I'm so happy whoever harvested it, harvested it because it works wonders and it's completely natural. And again, you have to use it for a little while before you start seeing the difference. But once it's in your system and it's regularly in your system, you'll see a difference in your cycle. This is cell food. This is actually trace minerals um, and you can put it in your water and it helps to add oxygen to your system. I have found, my doctor actually told me you should start taking trace mineral supplements. So instead of going for what they had at the health food store, I picked this up from, from Whole Foods and it works really well. I like it a lot. And then this is ashwagandha, which is a anti-stress um, and energy supplement that you can actually take all the time. It's like you're supposed to take it every day, but I usually take it around that time of the month because it's calming helps to relieve stress, it helps you to relax, and really half the battle is just getting yourself in a calm place and then you can handle whatever's coming your way with your cramps. I have this out because I keep them in this cute little pill container. So I'm not carrying around 18 bottles in my purse <laughs> during the month. Um, I found this at a, actually DSW department, what is it, discount shoe warehouse, or I don't even know what DSW stands for, but I know what DSW is. Okay, um, but I found it in there and it has this little thing. You can probably find something like this at Rite Aid, honestly, but if you wanna know exactly where I got it from, that's where I got it from. Um, but it fits in my purse, it's really tiny, and then I'm not carrying, you know, 10 large bottles around with me. A heating pad will save your life. It's definitely good at relieving cramped muscles. You could buy the ones that you plug up in the wall. You could buy one of these that you just like stick in the microwave and then you like lay it on yourself. It's awesome, you need a heating pad. You can also sit in a sauna. Saunas will give you peace, they're warm. I actually, for a friend's birthday recently, we went to like one of those Korean spas. And I was surprised it was like $20 for entry. And they have like all these rooms that are like really hot. And I was like, oh my God, I'm totally gonna come here when I'm on my period because it's just like this heated room and it's amazing. And you should go to one if you have the time or if that's in your budget. If it's not in your budget, sit in a hot bathtub, make a hot bath, relax yourself, put some salts in there. You'll feel really good. Um, if you don't have a bathtub to lay in, why are you watching this video? Like, you've got bigger problems. I want you to work on those. All right, so caffeine. A lot of girls that I know drink coffee, especially when they're on their period. It's supposed to help to relieve your cramps, but what it actually does is heighten your cramps a little bit because it gives you a little bit of anxiety, makes you a little jittery, and that actually makes your muscles tighten up even more. So even though you feel like it's getting rid of the bloat, it is, but there's a lot of other healthier ways to do that. So stay away from caffeine, it's not your friend. All right, here's a bonus tip. If all else fails, find somebody to be your boyfriend for that week. For me, it's my best friend. She comes over, she brings me dark chocolate, she heats up my heating pad in the microwave, she tells my kids to be nice to me. I mean, that's what friends are for. So just hire somebody to be your maid and take care of you <laughs> during that week because you can't live life 
because your cramps are so bad, all right? All right, everybody, that is my video for today. That is all the tips I have at this point in my life. If you have stuff that you do that I didn't mention in this video or that I did mention in this video and it's worked for you differently or not at all, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know what some of you guys do when you're on your period. Also, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you for watching my video. Thank you so much. And...